Here we are, ready to do the SSD install in the Asus UL30 VT laptop. I've removed the power cord and the battery. On the bottom is the hard drive bay, with three screws holding it in place. The panel should simply lift up and out of place. The hard drive should slide towards the left side of the system here. And there's our original Seagate hard drive. Now this is being held into its carrier with four screws. So we'll remove those and we'll put the SSD into the carrier. So I'm going to go ahead and set the laptop aside for a minute. And we'll go ahead and install our SSD in the hard drive carrier. Pay attention to the orientation of the connections, as you'll want to put the SSD in the same way. The hard drive will just slide out of the caddy. I've left my SSD in the anti-static bag up until this point. It's much lighter than the original disk drive. And once again, I'm lining up the connections in the drive caddy, and it looks like this will have to slide in from the front, like so. And the screw holes line up, the connections were where the connections were on the original hard drive. So I'll go ahead and screw this into place. Once you've got the SSD mounted into the caddy, go ahead and reinsert it into the system. Once again, the drive should go face down. While reassembling the system, I spent several minutes puzzled as to why it wouldn't go back together, and it turns out that this screw was rubbing on the chassis. After removing the screw, I was able to slide the SSD into place easily. Watch out! For pinching the wireless antennas, just use a screwdriver or some other instrument to move them out of the way. Now I'll simply put the cover back on and get ready to start up the system. Box for the win.